Welcome everyone, this is ZCooker88 with you yet again. How you doing? Last night, I saw that I had over 700 subscribers, a little bit over, and uh, I was shocked this morning to check out my YouTube channel and see that I only had 682, which is still a lot, and I'm proud of it, but I uh, that's a big jump overnight, and especially after making a controversial topic on, or a video on the topic God teaches predestination and election. That was the name of it. And I figured a lot of people would be unhappy about that video, which they were. And uh, anyway, this is why I'm making this video because I'm seeing Christians dividing over non essential issues such as predestination and free will. And this has got to stop. Christians, unbelievers, see this and they look at us and go, well, I don't want to become a Christian if. Even the Christians are dividing amongst each other over the silliest things. So this is why I make this video is to is to show you what God has to say about dividing over non-essential issues. Please open your Bibles with me to Romans 14, 1 through 12. It says, Accept him whose faith is weak, without passing judgment on disputable matters. One man's faith allows him to eat everything, but another man whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not. And the man who does not eat everything must not condemn the man who does, for God has accepted him. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To his own master he stands or falls. And he will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One man considers one day more sacred than another. Another man considers every day alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. He who regards one day as special does so to the Lord. He who eats meat eats to the Lord, for he gives thanks to God. And he who abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives to himself alone, and none of us dies to himself alone. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother? Or why do you look down on your brother? For we will all stand before God's judgment seat. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bow before me, every tongue will confess to God. So then, each of us will give an account of himself to God. Proposition God does not want you to judge another's beliefs in regards to non-essentials, eating, special days, matters of opinion, that sort of stuff. Disagreements are okay. Condemnation is not. This is not saying that we cannot make righteous judgments or rebuke one another. It just means that we need to be careful when we're making righteous judgments. We need to not look down on one another and become arrogant. Hey everyone, this is hours later after that last clip you just saw. I just got back from work, lifeguarding, so... Uh, I love my job. Anyway, I'm going to read the rest here of what I wanted to say, and uh, it should wrap everything up. You are to abstain from judging a fellow Christian in matters that are non-essential. You are to not, you are not to avoid fellowship with him, or ignore him. Instead, you are to accept, to love, and to be in harmony with him. Will you do that? Will you decide to love your brother even though he doesn't believe it the same as you? Referring to the non-essentials here. Will you ask the Lord to forgive you of your judgmental attitudes? Seek the Lord in His ab abounding love so that you might show it to your brother. Amen? Can we do that? Look, the essential doctrines are stuff we should not budge on. But, but when it comes to non-essential issues, this doesn't mean we have to agree to disagree. It just means, you know, be respectful and not divide fellowship with Him. Keep working on it, but do it in ways that are not going to uh, make the other person, um, you know, feel like, you know, you're judging them or condemning them to go to hell or anything like that. So, <clears throat> you know, it's okay to tell somebody they're on the wrong track or on their way to hell if they deny any of the essentials to Christianity, which involves the deity of Christ or salvation by grace through faith. If they deny any of those, um, then, yeah, they're on their way to hell, but you can't conclude that they are going to go to hell because they may, uh, they may receive Jesus later on. So, you just never know. It's God's calling. We are, we are born again, not of our will, but of His will. So, it's all up to God. Alright, I think that's about it. God bless everyone.